everyone, Jeremiah Carney with Adamson System Engineering, continuing the Blueprint AV tutorial video series. In the last episode, we learned the basics of the auto shoot function. Now, let's put that knowledge to good use. Open the auto shoot function. Let's use a scenario of a touring show. Since we already have an array of 9 E15s and 3 E12s added, we'll assume that this is the amount of boxes available to us as one side of the main PA. For this reason, we want to select only angles. Select Z frame, as you would most likely have some choice in the height of the array. If your height were to be dictated, heaven forbid, by the lighting placement, you would leave this box unchecked. Select near field limit and enter a value of three. This will automate the array to begin coverage at three meters. Under directivity control, select hard, as we want to cover the entire room all the way to the back row. Press the Go button to automate your array coverage. After you've completed the automation, you will see that your array has conformed to the green distribution factor line in the distribution graph. This means that the focal points of each box are spread out evenly as possible across the intended listening area. Although this is desirable, it doesn't always mean that your frequency response will be even throughout the listening area. To see a visual representation of the response, Change the distribution graph to the SPL graph. As you can see, the average level in the Y-weighted range is not ideal. The ideal response would be either a flat line or a gradually descending slope. Jumps in level throughout the listening area such as this will result in uneven coverage and an unhappy engineer and audience. To fix this, begin changing the individual angles of the boxes within your array. The goal is to maintain a 6 decibel window from front to back. If you arrive at the following values, you will see a more even response across the listening plane. If the overall decibel level isn't loud enough, or the coverage doesn't begin soon enough, consider adding extra boxes to your array. Sacrificing smooth frequency response for coverage and or level is not recommended. Stay tuned for the next installment of the Blueprint AV tutorial video series. <laughs>